Yo, so it's been a while since I've done a new build, so I'm going to use some AliExpress parts and get a build done. So for the motherboard, using a Maxent A520, a Ryzen 5500, Johor RAM, 2x8 um, gigs. For the storage, using 512 gigs of X-ray disk. In future, I'm going to use Pro ones because I heard um, bad reviews about it, but I've not had any, any issues at the moment. And for the cooler, using a Sama KA450. So I'm going to put that together first, and then we'll discuss the case and GPU and PSU later. So I've got it all put together. So now it can go inside the case. Nice little small little board. So for the case, we've gone for the HCS case. Tempered glass. It came with six... RGB fans but I did take out the top two because the wiring I think is going to be issue because wire management on this case doesn't look like it's going to be great so reducing those wires would give me a bit more space but yeah decent case I paid £35 for it from Amazon so yeah let's get the motherboard in so we've got the motherboard in and as you can see there is so much space here but that's expected because we're using an M80X motherboard and the reason why we use those is because of the cost we always build budget builds so we have to make some sacrifices somewhere and unfortunately the looks is going to get sacrificed over the costs so it is what it is but at the moment we're looking pretty good at the moment so for the power supply we've gone for the Game Max Rampage 600 watts 80 plus bronze so it's an okay power supply, nothing special, it gets the job done. Right, so I've got the wiring done. Well, it's not the best wiring, but I need to sort that out later. But I just wanted to test the LEDs and the fans are working. So they are, and you can change them, which is good. And you can turn it off as well, I think, if you hold it. There you go. So it's a nice feature on this um, case. £35 I paid for it, so it's okay. For the GPU, we've gone for the Soyo 2060 Super. It's the 8GB variant and it's a desktop variant, not a mobile one. So it works with normal NVIDIA drivers. So you're going to slot that in there. So there it is, guys. The final build 2060 Super with Ryzen 5500 for under £350. Not bad build. I just need to sort out the wirings and this case has done a great job at £35. The wire management was actually pretty decent. I didn't have, probably have to take off those two fans, but I can save it for another build, which saved me a bit of money, which is good because I'm a budget baller. Um, so there you guys go. If you have any questions, write them down below. If you haven't subscribed, then do that because I've got loads of videos coming up. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.